as the title suggests, this webinar, webinar if I'm saying that correctly, because I'm not an IT um, guru, uh, but I want just to focus today on effective plea making. It's not a definitive examination of the law, rather it is designed to provide a focus on advocacy techniques from a defence perspective within the law as it is presently in effect. One of these things that is aimed is that I noticed that there was a um, one of the participants was interested in client retention. Plea making um, really is a fundamental to any criminal law practice. Doing it well is a way to achieve a good result, which of course flows on to retaining clients. You also have a duty, which is this is where the conflict comes to a certain degree. You have a duty first and foremost as solicitors to all the court. We're all aware of that and we're instructed of that from law school. But you also have a duty to advise a client generally about any plea to the charge and to make it clear to the client that he has a responsibility for and complete freedom of choosing the pleas to be entered. If the client denies committing the offence, insists on a plea of guilty, you must. And these are a mirror of the Victorian bar rules, the New South Wales bar rules and the Queensland bar rules. I've practised in all states um, and they are almost identical in form. Um, and you're also bound by them as solicitors if you're standing at the bar table making pleas on your submissions. In the notes in the handout that you'll see, there at 24 is some uh, under the Crimes Act um, for Commonwealth offences, there's some issues about remorse. That's a very good guideline to ascertain how the court treats remorse and how it should to be, to be treated by the court. That brings to the role in the offending. In my view, these are the most crucial submissions in your plea. This correctly frames to the court the culpability of your client. And if you do it well, do it properly, it should be done in a way that enables the court to ascertain the culpability, again, without hearing a prosecution summary in detail. It is a something that is unique to every practitioner. Developing it well and being well organised in your plea and tabulating your materials, knowing where your materials are, um, being, a, is being able to provide a seamless plea to the court is a very important and fundamental skill to any, any solicitor in practice. Um, and the better you get at it, the higher the courts that you can go in quite seamlessly. And that means, of course, getting direct results for your clients. Um, and away you go. So good luck and I wish you the best for the future.